Hello traders, FS Percoletti here. Today is Tuesday, October 29th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpercoletti.com, if you would like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course, all included for only $30 per month. So the US dollar again, we definitely have a couple options. I mean, option number one is this is an ABC, which would probably look like that and then turn back up like this. Option number two is this is a one, two, three, which would still look like this, but it would keep on stretching out and eventually look like that. Notice that it's exactly the same pattern until we get to about this point right here, which is why for me, I don't really care whether it's an ABC or a one, two, three. Taking it down to the weekly, I have it marked as an ABC, but like I said, it could be a 1, 2, 3. So we'll have to pay attention. As of right now, I still think we're in a wave B or possibly a wave 2, which I don't think is over yet. Going down to the daily time frame. Now, on the daily time frame, I've been saying that this could be an expanding flat. I was thinking that this was an A here, and this is 1, 2, 3 of A, which is A of B. 1, 2, 3 down, which is B of B. Now, this is a lower low, which is why I think it could be an expanding flat. Most of the time, your target for an expanding flat is either the 178, 161.8 extension, or 260, uh, 261.8, 278.6 for an expanding flat target. So we are at the possible target for an expanding flat, but that alone does not tell me that it is time to go sort. A break of starts on a correctly tuned time frame will tell me that it is time to go sort. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, this is the structure level that I'm looking for, for a confirmation that this whole uptrend is over. Until we actually break this break, uh, structure right here, I'm still looking at any move I see to the downside as possibly just a correction to the last move up. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement on this move down because this is either a wave A or possibly a wave one. I think there's a chance this move up could be a wave B or a wave two. Now, because I'm a swing trader and because I only trade in one direction, I'm a trend trader, I will definitely not be sorting this because even though it looks like it needs to go down and make either a wave C or a wave three, it could just as easy just keep going up, which is why I would still mainly only be focused on going long at the end of every pullback I see. But it definitely does look like it needs to go down for a 3 or a C. If it goes down and breaks struts or that is when I will definitely turn into a seller at the end of pullbacks. If it goes down to a Fibonacci retracement of this move up, then that would make for a really nice long opportunity for the continuation of the uptrend. So just pay attention to price, pay attention to struts, and you should be trading in the right direction. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.